fights. This game has been one of my Your favorite games like all time. my life. And I used to be able to play through it like really really quick. Let's see how many bosses I can get through. I wonder if I have a save. I'm just gonna play. Um, I don't know if I've ever played it on difficult. But I know playing on normal, I could get pretty far. Alright, so the first person, I think almost everyone recommends Get Metal Man. Because once you get his power, it's just, it's multi directional the most handiest, and he's just not that difficult to beat right off the bat. It's pretty easy. Oh, fuck. I forgot how much life that takes. I better be careful. But yeah, you could really see the age of the NES, like... You can tell this is totally emulated because it slows down in the same parts as on the NES. And sometimes that used to make it easier too. Like especially during this part when you're just trying to get through these screw things. And when it slows down, it makes it easier. And I'm just gonna go. So Mega Man is one of those classic platformers that if you've never played it then you really can't call yourself a gamer, in my opinion. And uh, Mega Man 2, which I'm playing now, is considered to be like the best of the series the difficulty is like pretty balanced and the music is also awesome I think like Mega Man 2 has the most recognizable music out of all of them this song being one of them 
I remember, like, as a kid, this music used to be in my head. Uh, I'm not going for that, because I already have one. Uh, to get that, though, he would need to get one of those rush accessories to get across. These things annoy the fuck out of me. Like, when you're on the ground, they go fast. They're annoying as fuck. See, I'm already at the Metal Man. Let's see if I can beat him with this much life. Um, I think I can. Oh, metal bitch. Oh. Ah. Look at the ground keeps switching directions. Bitch. Alright, well I got more lives. I'll try again. to use my energy tank. Oh, I don't even know how I got into this. Oh, I forgot that's what you have to do. You have to select the P, which is kind of a little awkward, but... You know. If you can just dodge enough of these metal blades... Wilts hitting him. I don't know, am I using that word wide? Wilts, Wilts hitting him. You can do it. Like, oh yeah, I'm gonna so do it now. Dead. And then, in Mega Man games, after you defeat the boss, you gain their power. Which is what's going to happen now. Do I want this password now? I'm just gonna do a... I'm going for it. So, if I remember correctly, Metal Blade works against Woodman. Woodman is weak against the Metal Blade because Metal Blades just saw his ass in half. Uh, when I first... I remember back when I first, first played this game, I thought Fire would work against Woodman, and it doesn't. Like, it's always like, when a new Mega Man game comes out, you can try, like, try to figure out which boss's powers work against the other boss, but it's never... Of course, I'm sure they purposely try to make it so that it's not the obvious. But, let me show this metal power now. Um... So you can control which direction you can go, uh, obviously horizontal, straight up, straight down, and also the diagonals. So I guess, what is that, eight directions? And it doesn't use that much of the power, like look at the meter. You, can, you get a lot of blades per meter, so, I mean, getting the metal blade first is the handiest thing to do in this game. I always like doing this, going through the wall. Um, I don't know, I'm just so impatient, I'm not waiting. Let's switch back to my normal. Oh. I'm gonna go back to Metal Blade. Especially in this level, because later, when I get through the level, there's these birds that drop eggs, and there's like baby birds flying everywhere. So the multi-directional blades helps so much, like right there. Power-ups, and I'm full again. 
yeah. I think this level would be a lot harder if you didn't have the Metal Blade. Bastard. Just drop down, just to make it quicker. Kill the cute bunny. just at the right time. Um, let me see how many lives I got. So, I got one life. I'm gonna see how far I can wear down Woodman with my Power Buster before I use all my Metal Blade. But if I remember correctly, I think it like literally takes like four Metal Blades and he's dead. But those leaves like fucking... Damn it. Oh look, I'm almost beating him without the metal blade. Dead. God damn. Alright, this time I'm going in with these metal blades and I'm gonna saw the motherfucker in half. Come on, Woodman, what do you got? Oh. Yeah, a little bit stronger than the bu Mega Buster. Dead. Of course, once you beat the boss, you gain his power. I never found that much use for, what is it called, Leaf Shield. Stage select, uh, I forgot what Leaf Shield works against. Can anyone, uh, chat me which boss I should do next? I forgot, or let me look it up. I think it works against Airman. I didn't look it up, but... Yeah, Airman. This is another one of those levels where the Metal Blade comes in handy. Another reason you should get the Metal Blade first. Oh yeah, there's a... This gets a little tricky with the platforming, I remember. I remember if you like scroll too far, you can mess up the timing and screw yourself over with these things. So I'll, I'll try not to do that. But yeah, once again, this music is the bomb. See, here's where it gets uh, a little tricky with platforming, but I don't think it's too bad. Unless uh, I'm just uh, going from memory here, and it's just easy for me. Alright, got it. Jump down there. So these robots, I guess, are like the robots that control lightning. Oh, once again, here's these little bird things. I'll just try it. I remember one of these has a, a hole and you can fall right through. It's just hidden behind the clouds there. I'm trying to be tricky. Uh, Metal Blade works here again, but I'm just going to skip it. I'm not even going to mess with those. Just keep 
keep going. Oh, see, I think it's... Oh, just made it. <sighs> Almost didn't make that jump. See, this, this thing's like blowing me back and I'm not going to make the jump. There we go. Those like baby birds always drop tons of good things. Alright, here I am at Windman. See, these levels are shorter than I remember. So we got none, so I'm gonna use the leaves now. I think he's weak against leaves because, oh yeah, it only takes two hits because I think the leaves get stuck in his fans and just jams him up. Dead. Two hits. levels where you get a special message and it's like a, I think it's a rush power up. on. I think it works on Crash Man or Flash Man. We'll try Crash Man. Hi, friends. Are you watching right now? It's like really hard to play and read chats. I'm not that good at multitasking. This is one of those levels where I need this weapon. Oh yeah, this is another perfect situation where the metal blade helps because you got these you got these bastards floating around while you're trying to get up to the top. All right, and it gets more complicated. gotta try to get off as fast as you can. Oh, this one's a bitch. Look at all this I have to go through. While these bastards are flying around. Just to get to the next part. Here on this ledge is fucking 
frustrating as fuck, because it shoots, and then you fall down just like that. Sometimes you fall to the next... to the way bottom. I think if I go on the left, I could get a power-up. I don't remember. Oh, and if you get hit while you're on the stairs, you fucking fall. And this fucking bird keeps fucking shitting babies. Oh my god. Haha, oh, your egg missed. Oh my god. Thank god I didn't fall. Yeah, I knew it. Energy tank. Oh shoot, I wonder if I have... What's this? Yes! I wonder if I could use that to get over there. Yep. Alright, back to Metal Blade. Oh yeah, these things land right on you. Oh, this is exactly what I need. Some life. Perfect, I'm at the boss. Oh, I can't remember what he's weak against. I hope it's the wind. Right. Oh, shit, this doesn't do shit to him. Come on, bastard, with your fucking... Fucking fisting arms. Oh my god. And then he jumps around like a... Bitch. Alright, I'm gonna use my power now. I think this is what he's weak against. Yeah! Look at that. Look at how it took his energy down. Now oh, I just gotta hit him with it. Take that, bastard. Some air up your motherfucking ass. So I got the Crash Bomber. Uh, I think that works against Flashman. Not so sure. But yeah, let's do it. Alright, this level is just so classic to me. It's the music and everything. Oh yeah, this is where I need the... Oh fuck. The crash bomber weapon. Let's just keep going. I forgot what's over there on that other side. Oh yeah, you get to avoid this motherfucker. But you know what, I'm just gonna go... Yeah, right through him. Just like that. I think this is my last life. I'm gonna have to start from the beginning if I die. Oh, these fucking things. <sighs> yeah, 
Yes! I think I have to use some platforming skills over here. Oh, look at that! I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh. <laughs> of course, just as soon as I get to the boss. With two life bars. Oh, wait. I got these energy tanks right here. See that? Alright. And then I'm gonna use my crash weapon and beat it. Flashman, he uh, stops time. Oh! Oh, I know. Now I have to use my P Buster. What a bitch. Haha, uh -huh. went right through my legs. Still kills you. Item three, which uh, I think that's the item that bounces you up, maybe. All right, so I got time stop. Time stop works against quick man. I think it takes like when you use it, time stops and it takes half his life away. This guy's a bitch though. Oh, this level's kind of a bitch, too. No lives. Yeah. But this music's bomb. that you gotta, like, pass. Those kill you instantly if you get hit by them. Just like that. Let's try this again. Oh, how'd I still get hit? shit I missed. But I'm not gonna chance it. Oh yeah, the lights turn out. Alright, jump. See, I remember where to go. Oh, this shit gets hard here. Barely. Oh! I just need to get past that one little last part I just died on and then I'm good. Let's try it again. Oh, I should've got that life. I guess I fall faster than these blades do.
Alright, here we go. Oh, how do you do that? supposed to get that. Oh my god. <sighs> Fucking made it. Oh you little bastard. No, I'm just going. Fuck it. Alright, how many lives do I have? One... practice first before I use the time stop, because this bastard jumps around like a fucking jumping, Mexican jumping bean. That's stupid. He's just quick as fuck. Oh, bastard. Alright, I'm gonna use the power this time. Apparently, he's just so quick that if you stop time, it kills him. Take that, motherfucker. And then now that it's over, I just have to do it myself. But sometimes he's just so fucking hard to hit. Oh my god. Oh, just barely. against Bubble Man. Doesn't make sense, but... If I remember correctly, yeah. Oh, this stage is kind of a bitch, too. It's underwater. Oh my god, these bastards! Pixar, it hurts my eyes. It trips me out. All these platforms fall. I'll just choose to ignore that that happened. every time when I should just shoot
we go. Oh yeah, when you hit, shoot these things, their shell flies off. It's like their wig flies. Snatch that fucking wig. <laughs> Alright, here's the underwater part. Make some more wigs fly. Oh, these spikes here that are on the top, you die immediately. This thing, you have to hit it in its fucking antenna to kill it. Yeah, it kind of blows up dramatically. But see, under the underwater stage, the longer you hold jump, you can jump higher. Because I guess it's like being on the moon. Gravity is different. So that's why there's spikes on top. So that if you jump too far, you die immediately. I'm trying to be very careful not to hit the spikes. Jump through like a fucking pro. was easier the second time. That little fucking frog! Alright. For some reason, I guess the developers thought it would be cute that crabs would be falling. Not too bad. Last time I saw crabs falling, they were falling out of somebody's pubes. Fucking made me sick. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, look at how good this works. I didn't even have to use the... the boomerangs. That's a little anticlimactic for that level. now. So of course Heat Man's weak against Bubble Man. Even though there's not that much water in bubbles, but it's a game. Oh, this level's a fucking bitch, I remember. I'm gonna use the Metal Blade. Kills these things in one hit. Which I need, because I don't need to fuck around. Oh my god, that was an accident. How many lives do I have? Oh my god, that thing's gonna... All right on me. Not this time. Oh my god. That was close. I saved myself. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna try to stay up here because it's easier to jump. You know what? I'm just gonna fucking go. Oh, 
don't see that. Platforming skills on fucking point. I just remembered that. Oh my god. And then these things get in the fucking way. Of course, it pushed me off. Alright, I think I'm just gonna try until I die, and then I'll continue this later. I wonder if I have anything that helps me. I have that wall crawling thing, I wonder if that'll help me. Or maybe I should just use the crash bomb to break through. Yeah, I should do that. Oh, I'm not doing as good this time. This part right here, I remember, you can either just jump across and time it all, or if you got item number two, we'll just fucking fly. Never mind, I gotta do it higher. Maybe about right there. Let's go. I gotta keep an eye on the meter though. Oh, it didn't make it! <laughs> I gotta do it over there! Alright, I think that's it for now. I'll try that later. But... Let me get this password. Or can I save it? I don't think I could save in this game. Oh, I can. Yeah, you just gotta push the... Can I do it? Alright. Save complete. Hey. Alright, I saved it. Yeah. But on this collection, there's Mega Man 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six. Yeah. And then when seven was on Super Nintendo, so it wouldn't be included because I think this is all the NES ones. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, have a good night, everyone. Bye.